Good morning everyone. Today I am going to discuss about principle. management accounting. In management accounting, cash flow statement. Already last class we discussed about what is the meaning of cash flow statement and also three classification of activities, operating activities, investing activities and also financial activities. In that classification we have to complete one problem that is operating in this operating activities for 5 mark problem. Today we are going to see the second classification of investing activities. I will read the problem, observe it. From the following information, calculate cash flow from investing activities. Profit and loss account 31 3 2017 rupees 25,000. Purchase of machinery 50,000. Purchase of goodwill 20,000. Sales of machinery 7,000. Purchase of investment 30,000. Sale of patents 2,000, 8,000. Interest and dividend received 2,000. Sales of investment 10,000. A building was purchased as investment out of surplus which was let out for commercial purpose rent received rupees 4000 already i discussed with you what is mean by investing activities investing activities is nothing but which and all investing for the business that is considered here in this problem investing activities what and all purchases and what and all invested in the activity in the investing activities that is called as a invest investing activities cash flow now i am going to explain the problem how to frame the format of investing activities calculation of calculation of investing Activities. First one is particulars inner column, outer column. In this, we have to add all the purchases of the business, which and all purchases because of a company that is considered as a. We have to add it in the investing activities. Which and all sale, that is, we have to purchase any machines, it is repair or any depreciation. We need one new one because of that, we have to sell the old one that is considered as a less items. We have to make this format like this. First one is particulars, rupees, rupees, and and we have to subtract which and all we have to purchase for the business that is considered as in an addition column which and all sales of uh, asset that is considered as a less column first have to first entry is profit and loss account it is not considered in this investing activities for uh, next one is purchase of machinery 50000 and purchase of machinery how much 50000 50000 next one is purchase of goodwill that is also purchase for the uh, business activities that is considered as the investing activities so we have to add that also purchase of goodwill how much 20000 the next one is sale of machine Sale of machine you have to enter in the less column. Sale of machinery. That is not considered in the investing activities. Because of that we have to less it. How much? 7000. The next one is purchase of investment. Again you have to add a purchase of investment how much purchase of investment is 
30,000. The next one is sale of patent. Sale of patents. How much sale of patent is 8,000. Enter it. Inner column. The next one is interest and dividend received. Interest and dividend you said you can't able to invest in the investing activities. So it is also considered as less. Interest and dividend received. 2000. The next one is sale of investment. Sale of investment. Sale of investment. 10,000. So you have to add it and write it in the object column. How much? It is 1 lakh. And this one is 31. These two you have to less it. You have to go 69,000. Name is cash used in investing activities. So I hope you understand. Again I will discuss with you. Please listen the class. Calculation of investing activities. What is mean by investing activities? Which end or investing for the business. That is called as a investing activity. So this is the format for the investing activities. Particulars, rupees, rupees. You have to add all the purchases of in the addition column, all sales you consider, all sales inside here, interest, dividend, receive, all those things you have to enter in the which column? Less column. And one more thing, you have to enter in the rent, received, they given 4000, the additional information, then also you have to enter in the less. Only have to enter in enter purchase of purchases items only have to enter in the addition column. Every sales, interest received, dividend received, rent received, all those things have to less in this in this amount. You have to finally you have to go you bought cash used in investing activities. This much of amount only we have to activate. We have to use it for the investing activities. I hope you understand this problem will come. In semester exam, fine mark problem. It is very it is compulsory problem. In cash flow statement, it will come two fine mark problem and one fifteen mark problem. Cash from operation one fine mark problem and this investing activities one fine mark problem. All together, all those activities together, we have to find out cash flow statement that is comes under fifteen mark problem. Start cash flow statement fifteen mark problem. Yes. Directly, we go to the problem. Already we discussed all those things about cash flow statement. Now, I directly I am going to start the 15 mark problem. How to make the format for the cash flow statement? You just listen the format. How I am drafting the form. Heading is cash flow. Statement. In this cash flow statement, there are three activities all together. We have to see in this problem. First one is operating activities. Cash from operation. First one is particulars. Rupees. Outer column. Rupees. First closing balance of profit and loss account. You have to enter and you have to add all the expenses. All the expenses. You have to list all the incomes. That means when that is the rule. When the current asset is increased, it will consider as a 
income when current asset is decreased it considered as a expenses when current liability is increased it is considered as a expenses of the concern when the current liability is decreased profit income of the concern first you have to frame it and you don't forget to write the opening balance of profit and loss account in this next column opening balance of opening balance of what profit and loss account you have to name it cash from operations this final amount we consider as the final amount we considered as what cash from operations the next one is so continuously you have to wrap one more cash from investing activities investing activities investing activities and here in this amount we have to less it in this cash from investing activities and purchases less sales rent is rent received the next one is rupees column you already we got cash from operation in this we have to less this amount less this amount now we have the goes to the cash from financial activities financial activities what is financial activities financial activities what are the all comes under finance we have to write in this financial activity suppose uh, capital equity capital security premium loans all those things we have to enter here we have to add equity shares issues issue of shares security premium that is called as a source of the business so because of that we have to add it. we have less some items that is redemption of debenture that is application all borrowings all loans comes under in this application we have to less in this so finally we get the what is the finance we have to cash we have to use in the organization finally we get in this two so an application that is name it as cash from <coughs> finance financial activities this also we have to less it this also we have to less finally you will get one finally you will get the amount finally you will get the amount of cash flow and one more thing in your uh, notes they given a cash two years cash one is cash beginning and next one is cash end cash beginning amount we have to these two Let's have we will get the cash end. You will get the cash end. This will helpful for you whether your problem is correct or not. With the help of cash, you comes to know what is your cash flow statement. Whether your problem is correct or no, finally will get through the cash beginning and cash end. 
Thank you. This is the format for the cash flow statement. Now I am going to start the problem cash flow statement 15 mark problem. Now cash flow operating activities. Particulars rupees total in this cash flow operating activity there is a format of closing balance of profit and loss account add all expenses expenses means when the current asset is decrease it will become expenses for the company when the current liability is increased that is also expenses in the to the concern now less all incomes less all income that means when the current asset is increased it is income for the company when the current liability is decreased that is the income for the company the next one is right here opening balance of profit and loss account Closing balance of profit and loss account you have to see in the notes to accounts already I given in this video that is 2 lakh 1000 you have to write in the outer column 1 lakh 56000 opening balance of profit and loss account in inner column 1 lakh 56000 the next one is Directly comes to the current liability. First one is creditors. 57,000, 69,000. What happened? Increase. So, current liability is increased. That is expenses to the concern. Increase. Current liability. Creditors. 57,000 minus 69,000. That is 12,000 inner column the next one is bills payable 7500 6000 increase that is current liability is decrease so decrease current liability that is bills payable how much 63000 sorry 7500 minus 6000 1500 inner column the next one is provision for tax provision for tax 15000 13000 current liability is increased that is income or sorry expenses for the company increase current liability provision for tax 15000 minus 18000 that is 3000 in inner column. The next one is dividend payable 10,500, 12,000. Again, current liability is increase. Expenses increase current liability, dividend payable. How much? 10,500 minus 12,000. That is 1,500 inner column. The next one is comes to the asset. Directly current asset. Stock 1,26,000, 1,47,000. What happened? Current asset is increase. Current asset increase. It comes under income column. Increase current asset. Stock. How much? 1,26,000 minus 1,47,000. 7,000 that is 21,000. The next one is debtors. 57,000, 57,000. Same there is. So, not a different. You would leave that entry. 
now come to the bills receivable that is current asset 63000 93000 again current asset is increase increase so comes under income column current asset bills receivable how much 63000 minus 93000 in inner column you have to write the difference of bills receivable 30000 inner column now everything is completed you have to add it all these 16500 you added all those thing it is 217500 you add all those thing have to enter in the outer column that is 2 8500 Two lakh eight thousand and five hundred. The value was nine thousand. That is considered as cash, net cash flow of operating activities. The next one is. we have to find cash flow investing activities investing activities investing activities first one is you in this investing activities you see the fixed asset first one is machinery machinery how much 3 lakh uh, how outer ka 3 lakh 45000 what happened here additionally we have to purchased comparatively previous year this year 45000 45000 it's called as a purchase anything 45000 value of um, value of machinery we purchased in this year we have to show that the next purchase of machinery 3 lakh minus 3 lakh 45000 inner column we show the difference 45 thousand the next one is land land is the same so we don't enter we directly we go to the next entry of buildings building what happened 2 lakh 25000 2 lakh 64000 again the the asset is increased that means we have to purchase 2018 we have to purchase something different so purchase of building we mention only the additional that is a difference of the asset Two lakh twenty-five thousand minus two lakh sixty-four thousand. So what is the difference here? Thirty-nine thousand is difference. Enter in the inner column. So all those act investing or oh, investing activities are over. So we have to less these two. You have to add it and put it in. Minus eighty four thousand. Minus eighty four thousand. The next one is less net cash flow of financing activities. Financing activities. In this financing activity, activities, we have to enter what and all issues, what and all uh, comes into the business. That is, we consider as a financial activities. What and all we buy the loans from the bank and other expensive activities, which is we less in the additional activities. We add all the. purchases issues all those things we have to add in the financial activities we have to less which and all comes under the loans borrowing from the borrowing from the bank all those things comes under less column first we have to add all those things which and that is show in the notes to accounts equity capital you have to enter only the difference amount we called as It is increase three lakh thirty thousand, three lakh seventy five thousand. So issue, what is happening in the equity capital comparatively previous year to be uh, current year? Yeah, something capital is invested. Issues of share 
capital. What is the difference among three lakh thirty thousand? Three lakh thirty thousand minus three lakh seventy five thousand. The difference amount is forty five thousand in our column. I am continuing in this page. Next one is you see in the notes to accounts ten percentage preference capital. What happened? One lakh fifty thousand, one lakh sixty five thousand preference capital. So increase. So that is the source of the company. One lakh fifty thousand minus one lakh sixty five thousand. You difference fifteen thousand. You have to enter in the inner column. The next one is reserve and surplus. Comes no with the help of notes to account. You come. You see the reserve and surplus column. Security premium. So the security premium also increase. That is also source for the source to the concern. Security. Premium. How much? Thirty thousand minus thirty nine thousand. Inner column. The difference is nine thousand. The next one is you add all those things. It will it comes sixty nine thousand. Now you have to less. You have to less all loans. All those things. Is there is any loans in your problem? Yes. Six percentage debenture. What have that you have to consider as the less column, right? Redemption, redemption of debenture. Only have to enter the difference only in outer col inner column. One lakh five thousand minus ninety six thousand. You have to enter the differences. Nine thousand. So this much no additional uh, information. So you close this entry. Finally, have to write it outer column that is sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. In the sixty sixty thousand, you have to less the Cash, cash, and cash equivalent. At last, notes, notes to account. You see the last entry of cash and cash equivalent. You have to write what happened here. Decrease. So decrease. You have to comes under the application in this less column only. So net, net, decrease, decrease in cash. How much? What is the difference? Sixty three thousand minus. Forty-eight thousand. So the difference is, what happened here? It is less. So you have to indicate minus fifteen thousand. In this, you have to enter so net decrease in cash is fifteen thousand. Now you have to write the cash and Cash equivalent, cash equivalent at beginning. At beginning, have to enter here sixty three thousand. How much the difference is forty eight thousand. This forty eight thousand we consider as the cash and cash equivalent at end. In this problem, this is the nine thousand net cash flow of operating activities. You have to this. You have to less in the cash flow investing activities. The amount is seventy five thousand. In the seventy five thousand, we have to less in the cash in financial activities. These two we have to enter. We have to get a minus fifteen thousand. This minus fifteen thousand is the cash equivalent. Cash that is the difference of cash and cash equivalent fifteen thousand. 
here that is 75,000, 60,000 minus 50,000. Your problem is correct. Why? Because in this uh, ninth entry they gave a cash and cash equivalent 63,000 and 48,000. The difference is 15,000. So you have to uh, check in this way. Here the difference is 15,000. As the same time cash and cash equivalent is also 15,000. So your problem is correct.